that's a stick. Sagittarians, it is the Elin reading. I'm sorry, my darlings. Oh, Sagittarians, Sagittarians, what is going on? This is the Elin reading for 0202, okay, 2020. All right, Saggy, um, trust the part you're on, Saggy. Whatever is transpiring, trust the part you're on. Okay, this reading is to heal the soul. Okay, it's a soul reading. I'm using um, these energy. They are the energy of the light. Okay, and this these energies to help you um, to find your soul. Okay, find your soul group. Find what it is that your soul is asking about. Okay, so. Saji, um, trust the part you're on, okay? Whatever is transpiring, trust the part you are on. With this soul reading, it's about breaking change. Breaking the chain, Saji. And if you would like to have the extended of this reading, um, use the link and join the site and all the extended of these reading for all signs are there. It is the soul healing reading, okay? And you have to work on breaking the change, okay? And when you break the chain, you break the chain of your ancestral patterns, you break the chain of healing, and you rewrite the future. And you rewrite the future. Now, what this is saying for you, Sagittarians, is that some of you are dealing with some ancestral patterns. And what we call ancestral pattern is that you are reincarnate in the same a soul group and you go through the same um issues and now they want you to break that okay so whatever and whatever is transpiring i see that this um pattern needs to be broken saji and that's what you're going to be doing what is hanging over you why you haven't done that it's because you need to release these soul patterns. You need to end these contracts of past lifetime with other people. And then as you end these cat the contract, because you need to break the chain and unbond. So you unbond and release certain people out of uh, um, your frequency. Okay. Unbonding is releasing the soul pattern just as you need to break the ancestral pattern. So ancestral are the group, the people, the families that you are created, you're reincarnated in. Most of the time you're reincarnated in a family and it's just to clear their family issues and energies, okay? you What you need to work on is really deep blemishing. So you need to release and um, a lot of emotional issues with these family and these people whatever is happening and transpiring you really need to, to release this deep plemishing um of whatever is transpiring and happening because if you don't release it you can't move forward where are you being called to to journey think about where have you been called to to journey and try and visit that place in this year okay so Whenever um, Emera comes up, that is all about a city, and actually that is Atlantis, so a city and the sun comes out, Emera. Um, Emera, Lamoria, and Atlantis were the first civilization on this planet. And what is transpiring here is that at Elin, a lot of you could be, um, need to visit this place, so where are you being called to, to journey? Try and visit that place in this year, Sagis. Starseed, wake up. Wake up, you starseeds out there. It is now time for all starseed under the Sagittarian um, flag to wake up, okay? So you um, Sagittarian starseed are going to be waking up in this year. As we look at July, August, and September, I see the age of light. You are being, you have been trained for this time, Sagitt Sagittarius. You have been trained for this time. Whatever that was happening and transpire, you have been trained for this time. Okay, so this is good because a lot of you star seed are going to be realized that you were trained for this time, and it's time that you wake up. Okay. 
dancing with life in the month of October November December do something to change your energy so whatever is happening and transpiring do something to change your energy because you're dancing with light okay so it's not looking bad um, it's very good because it's the awakening of uh, the star seed okay so mostly star seed trust the part that you're on um, there's a message for a uh, you Sagittarians out there trust the part that you're on because whatever is transpiring um, Saji I realize uh, that you need to trust the part you are on if you knew you would be um, support supported would you go on the part yes go on the part because you're going to be supported by your guided angel so the focus right now it's about breaking the chains and the chains or breaking ancestral pattern okay and that is good because you're healing and rewriting the future from your ancestral ancestrals okay and it's all about releasing soul patterns okay you need to release soul patterns so you need to end these relationship and connection with other people okay and this is very important so let's see what is coming up in april may and june i see you're going to be seeing the truth in april may and june i see you went within and start to um consider the part that you're on considering what has been going on and now i see that you're understanding what exactly is transpiring around you where you are and what is affecting you in your life so i see that um some of you are really in the month of april may and june is really going to be releasing the soul pattern and the contracts and past life that you have old with other people and this is going to be good the age of light is here and i see justice the age of light is here and i see justice and this is good because whenever the age of life comes up with justice is that you have been trained for this time star seed so it is time for you star seed to wake up and um the age of light is here and they're going to be helping you um to move through um in a positive direction okay so this is good so whatever is transpiring i see that you guys are really going to be learning and trying to find ways of mean to um to to break the chains of your um a sense and um ancestral pattern and this is going to be good justice is here and i see that healing is going to be coming up in the month of october november december so this is very positive for you guys because whatever the issue and the situation is i see in the month of october november december i see positive alignment of energies is going to be coming in it's as if the universe is going to be granting you something that you have always wanted so some of you will receive this in the month of october some of you will receive it in the month of november and some of you is going to be receiving it in the month of december so this is so so positive um sagittarian it's one of the most positive readings and because Jupiter, you vibrate under, and especially you are Sagittarian cup. So this is going to be a very powerful year. And if you are a star seed underneath the Sagittarian map, this is just going to be bringing you um, to um, a positive place going forward. And this is going to be good. So whatever that was transpiring, trust your part Sagittarian in this year, because you're on the right part, whatever the conflicts is and was, you're going to be getting out of this i see some of you have some regrets but let go of the regrets i see you have regrets with family and um sometimes people say jesus um you know some of you have regrets with family issue and it's it's, it's as if some of sometimes people wish they weren't born in a certain family i see this is going to be coming up but let go and understand that you can't choose and you didn't choose them they choose you okay so sagittarian it's all about insight to understand the wisdom okay and the result from understanding this okay what else you're working with sagittarius the 12 hours of release 
So you Sagittarius are working with the 12 hours of release and this is good. So whatever is transpiring and coming up Sagittarius, the 12 hours of release has to do with the hours of um, release as um, Neptune in that house. Um, but the 12 hours, the planetary aspect that you guys are dealing with is the moon and secrecy. Okay. So remember the 12 hours is the house of the Pisces and Neptune, but you are dealing with, um, the moon. Okay. This is the planetary aspect that you're dealing with. Now, whenever, um, the moon comes up, the moon can be intuition, feelings, costs and reaction okay so the insight to understand your fate that's where we come in where you need to nurture that you need to nurture that okay the wisdom of hidden tendency feeling caused by yeah um you have certain feelings and certain tendency that you keep to yourself you're going to be releasing all of that you're just going to be releasing all of that okay resulting from understanding large institution or overwhelming events okay so a lot of you okay um the the 12 hours is always about your fate okay it's all about hidden tendency it's all about a large institution and overwhelming event that happens in your life where a debt or um you didn't pass an exam or that sort of an overwhelming thing and it can also be seeking one with all there is. Philosopher, okay? Keeping your um, involvement hidden, okay? So there is a lot of hidden things. Getting out to the world and keeping your involvement hidden. The reaction from the opposite of what you would have done. So be aware of what you do because there's a secrecy. Defend accept and let go is secrecy so you gotta be aware of what is transpiring be aware of these issue and these situation so 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 there is there is so much that is going on we have the energy of the hangman and you, you know things are now clear seeing the truth of issues and situation things are now clear um, there is a lot of hidden secrets that is going to be coming on the surface, Sagi. So you got to be aware. The dolphin is here. So it's all about cosmic consciousness, breathing, and sacred drum geography. So it's about uh, um, the consciousness, whatever is happening, whatever is transpiring. So it's cosmos, um, cosmic uh, co consciousness breed and sacred geography and this is very positive and it's going to be awaken you and enlightening your soul it's good to sometimes listen to the dolphin music because it brings you positive alignment of energies then as we go and we look at the next message it has to be you are being helped heaven is working behind the scenes to help you even if you don't see result as yet So this is wonderful this is really wonderful it's really positive these are positive uh, message that is coming up so heaven is working behind the scenes if even do you don't see result heaven is working behind the scenes okay so wonderful messages and for the people who have had loved ones that has passed away they're saying tears cleans the soul and this is what I always say to people um, cry because it clear your soul it heals your soul and if i'm working with someone and they start to cry and they said i'm sorry i said no it's okay just let it go let it go release release because some people don't cry some people just don't cry i and and some people who cry like very easily you know so it, it, it is vice versa and my thing is uh, um I know when I reach the breaking point, if I don't cry in a year, I know that I'm keeping a lot of hurt and pain inside. And it just makes me feel like as if I'm freezing. Okay. Where it's as if you're cold as ice, where people say, oh my God, you're cold as ice. And it's because 
you close yourself off to the world because you don't want certain situation to affect you because you're so hurt and you're feeling pain over certain situation and this is what is happening so if you feel as if you need to cry go ahead and cry because you're just healing your soul okay I love you, Saji, so much. Please share these reading, and I hope that it helped you guys because it is going to be a time for you to release the secret, um, whatever is going on with the secrecy and that sort of a thing. Release it, okay? And you're being helped, okay? Heaven is working behind the scenes, and you're being helped. So even if you think that things are not working, heaven is working behind the scenes, you're being helped. Don't worry about it. Namaste. Until next time, please share, share, share. Share this reading and uh, uh, subscribe to the channel and like and share. It's very important to share because this is an healing of the soul reading. So it's very important to share. Okay. Let go um, whatever secrets. Let's go whatever you're holding on to because you need to heal your soul. I love you guys. Namaste.